right now we uh, have a Postmaster General, Louis DeJoy, that is, uh, has many plans for stopping services of the post office and slowing the service of the post office. And there's a great deal of hand wringing over his uh, plans to do that, his uh, current 10 year plan to uh, stop services that the post office provides, to uh, make the services that they do provide less accessible, to close uh, post offices. Uh, I'm sure my post office will be one of the first they want to close. It's, a, it's way too convenient. <laughs> it's two blocks from my house. So I'm sure they'll want to close that one down. The uh, and but what's not really being talked about is the obvious reason why. And again, I ha I just have have to remind uh, you that this is never strategic. We are never dealing with three-dimensional chess. It is always tactical. It is, uh, it, it, sometimes we uh, uh, bemoan and wonder, what in the world is going on here? Don't think too hard about it. It's, it's, it's very simple. Republicans, uh, DeJoy was put in to serve Donald Trump uh, and Republican interests. He was not put there to make put the post office on a sure footing for the future by making it economically black. No, that's, that is, that is uh, foolishness. Uh, that is not what he's attempting to do. He's there to benefit Donald Trump. Um, that's why, that's why anybody that Donald Trump and his administration uh, put into office was given that office. It was all about that individual. Well, Donald Trump is gone and uh, he needs to serve Republicans. Now, Republicans have become 25% or less of the electorate in the United States. Um, and they're losing people all the time. So, the point is to make sure that they can continue viable as a minority ruled party. You do that, I mean, one of the things that caused them to lose the House and the Senate and the presidency was voting by mail. Republicans hate voting by mail. It is purely tactical. Uh, uh, it is purely short run. What can we do for ourselves this year? Looking forward to the next election. If you can keep people from voting, so only the most committed people or only the people for whom voting is most convenient can vote, largely, and if all you do is change the voting pool by just 5%, you've won. You have won. Uh, if, if you just make it so that Democrats have to win by 15% in order to win, then Republicans have won. Uh, they've won their point. If, if the, the worst thing that can happen for Republicans is for everybody who wants to vote to be able to vote. And so, the point is, if you just take the post office and you cause ballots, you cause as many ball ballots as possible to be uh, uncounted through voting by mail, you have helped 
not, it doesn't have to be all off or all on. We're just looking at a five to seven percent change um, uh, to benefit Republicans. And if to do that, you slow down mail delivery and screw up the post office as much as you can, great, because the strategic issue is, long, the long-term issue is again, Republicans are losing across the country. Their message has been nothing, has been nothing uh, for decades. They have nothing to give. Uh, they are always just no, 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 no. This is terrible. That's terrible. This is awful. Gotta stop that. It, it is nothing about uh, here's what we're going to do to make the country better. They don't do anything. They stop things from happening. And that's that, that's, you know, given uh, the way the country runs and our electorate, there's a lot of wisdom in that. If you do anything, you are target practice. Do you remember the last time the Republicans were in charge? Their whole thing was stop, overturn, get rid of Obamacare. It was not to do anything Please recall, they had no, nothing to replace Obamacare. It was all just to stop it. No, make it go away. Don't let it happen. Don't, you know, it was again, the, uh, it was negative instead of positive. If you're looking for something to actually get done so that we can stop Abortions by doing good? Hey, there is there is no uh, Republican stance. It's all Democrat. If you're looking for a way to make sure that your gun rights stay inviolable for your children, well, then uh, you, it, you've got to vote Democrat because Republicans do not care about democracy or the Constitution. They do not care. Care. They care about power and money. And if the Republican is young enough and can sustain an erection, they care about sex. Uh, but most of them are too old to that. So it's power and money. So that's what's going on with the post office. It's, it's very simple. It is just it is just to forward the idea of reducing the number of people that can vote because if you reduce reduce the number of people that that can uh, conveniently vote you have anything that is difficult for everybody is more difficult if you're making thirty thousand dollars or less a year anything that is difficult for everybody is less difficult for people making a hundred thousand dollars or more a year the uh, cynical assumption is that people making good wages are going to be Republicans because they don't want things to change. That's what conservatism is about. Keep things the same because I'm doing great and I don't want the, I don't, if, if you change things, maybe I'll have to uh, have other people get the same kind of benefits I do and uh, and since I believe as a conservative that the country is a meritocracy then the fact that I'm doing fine is evidence of what a great person I am and the fact and if, if I expand those benefits to a larger portion of the country I have lost my superiority so we the so the point is if you make voting by mail harder it becomes proportionately harder 
for people with fewer options, people making less money, people who if they take the day off of work to vote in person are going to lose that day's pay and so make it much harder to pay the electric bill. Uh, people who are more likely on the day uh, uh, to vote, they are going to have childcare issues, they are going to have car repair issues, they are going to, if you make anything less convenient, you make it proportionally even less convenient for people who have fewer options and make less money. If you make anything less convenient, yes, it becomes less convenient for, for everyone, but it becomes, uh, it, it does not affect as much people who are doing just fine, thank you. Um, people who can uh, take the time, like me, to get their ballot early and to get it in the mail early uh, and because they don't have a bunch of drama going on in their life constantly. And that is, uh, that is, I just want to bring up the point that that is the whole point of having Louis DeJoy as postmaster. There's nothing tricky about it. Uh, we don't have to wring our hands about why he's doing it. He is a Republican operative uh, working under this guise of financial, uh, you know, uh, making sure the post office can be on secure financial footing. No, the, the point is just to make voting harder for people who are more likely to need Democrats in office because Democrats actually address the needs of the country to institute change to make the country better for a broader swath of people. And that is something that conservatives will always oppose. I, uh, shoot, I, I always, uh, Dickens called it the evil can't. Uh, C-A-N-T, not, not apostrophe. Uh, uh, the evil uh, song, you might say, like Canticleer. The, the thought that if you expand the public wheel to include a larger number of people, then that takes away benefits from one group of people and gives it to another. My benefit only exists to the point that it shoves aside your benefit. That is satanic. That is evil. The truth is that if we expand the public wheel, life becomes better for everyone.